students let me invite you all for watching the second part of the video the continuation of the poem once upon a time which is written by gabriel okara let's see about author before that introduction introduction this poem once upon a time is a conversation between a father and his son children acquire important life skills and values by observing and imitating grown ups like parents or teachers particularly in this poem once upon a time where a parent wants to know something from the son let's know about the author author gabriel okara born on 24th april 1921 nigeria education self educated man career book binder journalist radio broadcaster newspaper editor famous work the fisherman's invocation the voice little snake and little frog yesterday maybe tomorrow awards best award for literature 1953 and commonwealth poetry award also students are you ready to listen the fourth stanza yes now you are going to listen the fourth stanza so i have learned many things son i have learned to wear many faces like dresses home face office face street face host face cocktail face with all their conforming smiles like a fixed portrait smile the poet further says to his son that he has learned many things he has learned to act or behave to the need of the situation the changing of mass is like changing of dresses the changing of mass is like changing of dresses in home he will have one face in the office he sits in one way to a person with different face when he meets someone on the street he acts another way when he acts with mixed emotions he has to put on a cocktail mask so he has to wear a standard deceitful artificial smile on all occasions it looks like a smile in a fixed picture or a painting students next you are going to listen the fifth stanza fifth stanza and i have learned to to laugh with only my teeth and shake hands without my heart i have also learned to say goodbye when i mean good riddance to say glad to meet you without being glad and to say it's been 
nice talking to you after being bored here the poet also learned to laugh with only his teeth which means in a like manner or fake manner without any emotion he learned to shake hands with others without whole heartedness he has learned to say goodbye wherein he actually has to say good riddance a feeling of relief when an unwanted person leaves he has even learned to say glad to meet you without being glad he also has learned to say it has been nice talking to you after being bored with his talks so he has learned to keep his real character a secret and shows the world a fake character students are you ready to listen the sixth stanza yes let's see sixth stanza but believe me son i want to be what i used to be i want to be what i used to be when i was like you i want to unlearn all these muting things most of all i want to relearn how to laugh for my laugh in the mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare facts finally the poet tells his son that when he was younger days he wanted to be an honest genuine person he pleads his son to believe it as it is a truth now he wants to get rid of the things which mute or silence his real emotions and wishes to return to a more natural style of living most of all he wants to relearn how to laugh genuinely whole heartedly with a good warm feel at present is fake artificial laugh in the mirror shows only his teeth or like a snake's poisonous teeth like a snake's poisonous teeth he feels that he is deeply unhappy with his fake personality students now you are coming to the last stanza seventh stanza so show me son how to laugh show me how i used to laugh and smile once upon a time when i was like you so show me son how to laugh show me how i used to laugh and smile once upon a time when i was like you at last the poet asked his son to show him how to laugh sincerely and genuinely children do not fake things they show what they feel inside again the phrase once upon a time reiterates the fact that the poet wants to be what he used to be once now we are going to listen the summary of the poem students 
Are you ready to listen the summary of the poem? Yes. I hope you are all ready to listen the summary of the poem. The poem Once Upon a Time is written as though a father is talking to his son. In olden days, the people used to laugh with their hearts and eyes. This is, there was honesty in what they said and did. But in the present, people greet each other with only artificial and a fake love without any emotions or good feelings. Their eyes are lacking a feeling of warmth or endearing expression. The people have become money-minded and naturally develop their relationships with the rich. Even when shaking hands with others, they are very artificial. Guests are no longer welcome these days. They all given a warm reputation once or twice only. If they visit their friends or relatives twice or more number of days, the doors are shut on them. In this material and artificial world, the poet has learned many things, especially wearing many faces, like putting on many dresses. One has to have home face, office face, street face, host face, cocktail face, and so on. All are fixed just like a portrait smile. As this is the way of the world, the poet has also learnt laughter with teeth, the art of saying goodbye when he means good riddance, glad to meet you when he is not glad and nice talking to you when bored. The poet wants to be like his son with all the excellent conduct. He himself becomes the victim of the present, showing the facts of a snake. At the end of the poem, the poet appeals to his son to show him how to smile wholeheartedly. Desire to relieve the past is nothing but a longing for the innocence, faithfulness and sincerity. I hope you might be understood this poem. Thank you students. Thank you for watching the videos.